Today I'm going to discuss the true abomination, Donkey Kong Jr. for the Atari 2600. In December of 1983, my mom offered to loan me $31 so that I could buy this piece of crap. Now at first, I was tickled to death because I thought I was going to love this game. But when I got home and played it, I saw that it sucks and I felt sick. It gives no points for jumping over enemies and no fruit to drop on enemies to kill them. One better thing about Donkey Kong Jr. for the 2600 than Donkey Kong for the 2600 is that Donkey Kong Jr. has three screens and Donkey Kong only has two. Uh, and now I'm going to show you uh, the three screens that are on the, the Tar 2600 Donkey Kong Jr. This is screen one, the jungle screen. This is the key screen. But instead of pushing six keys to, to the top of the screen, like on the arcade game, on the 2600 version, you only push three keys to the top. This is the third screen on the 2600 version of Donkey Kong Jr. Mario's Hideout. But instead of uh, having to jump over sparks of electricity like on the arcade version, on this version, you, you have to jump over snap jaws. Okay, now, Nintendo uh, is the company that released Donkey Kong Jr. For, in the arcade, and Coleco is the co company that release this piece of crap. This has been my video about Donkey Kong Jr. Thanks for watching.